Hey Metaxi, my name is Luca and I'm an astronaut on board the International Space Station. It's nice to see you and all of you again. Today I want to tell you about some technologies that we have developed since the station was built. When you think of technology, what do you think of, Paxi? Maybe computers and robots and spaceships? These are indeed examples of technologies, but a technology can be many things. For example, our clothes are technology to keep us warm, and a spoon is a technology for eating. Even a stone tool used by early humans is a type of technology. Sometimes we don't even realize that we're using technology, but it is all around us. Without technology, we astronauts wouldn't certainly be able to go to space. A space station only works because of thousands and thousands of technologies that make living in space possible. The first module of the ISS was launched many years ago, in 1998. And the first astronauts arrived in 2000. Technology has developed a change a lot since then. And just imagine, during the first years of the station, there were no smartphones and websites like Wikipedia and YouTube didn't exist. We are so dependent on these technologies nowadays, but they have existed for less time than this space station. Before these inventions, it was really difficult and expensive to talk to people on the other side of the Earth. And you had to look up information in big books called phone books. With the rise of the internet, now we are all connected and we have immediate access to information. On the ISS, we test some of the newest technologies that sometimes look like they're from a sci-fi movie. And many technologies that you use every day on Earth have been invented or used in space. For example, eyeglass lenses are made from a type of scratch-proof glass that was originally developed for making the visor on our spacesuit helmets. We call these technologies space spin-offs, and they include things like memory foam, cordless vacuum cleaners, and digital image sensors, like the camera and mobile phones. But Paxi, we don't focus on just making new technologies. We also try to improve technology that we already have, such as our clothes, for example. It would be very useful if we could wear clothes that help us stay healthy. For example, a smart shirt. This is the idea which has been tested here on the station. It can measure things like our heart rate when we exercise and send information to an app so we can easily see it. Another exciting and useful technology is 3D printing. It's easy to print 2D images with an ink on a piece of paper, but now it's possible to print out 3D objects such as tools to help fix things here on the space station. 3D printers work by slowly squirting out molten plastic from a nozzle that moves around building up layers to make up the three-dimensional shape you want. In the future, we want to explore deeper and further and beyond into the solar system, so we may want to build a base on the moon. A 3D printer could be made that harvests and squirts out lunar soil to build up three-dimensional shapes and even whole structures. It would save money and materials if we could print our base directly there on the moon, instead of having to build it on Earth and then launch it into space. Imagine, Paxi, if we could design your own moon camp. And maybe you too, Paxi, could use our new technology on your spaceship. Thank you for visiting us here on the International Space Station. I certainly enjoy talking to you and to you about how technology has improved, and I hope you learned something new. Please come back and visit us soon, Paxi. Goodbye and goodbye to you.